you have issues. More specifically, you have trust issues. And I completely understand. You've been through a lot. People have betrayed you, let you down, and they've given you reason to be very skeptical. But we can't continue like that. It needs to be fixed. So I want you to stay tuned as we break down three ways for you to overcome your trust issues. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Stefan Labos here, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks, your certified life and relationship coach here to provide you with relationship advice, dating advice, marriage advice, life advice, all kinds of help and guidance and insight to help you experience better in your life. Now, before we get into this main topic of three ways to overcome your trust issues, I want you to be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell next to the subscribe so you can get the notifications for my videos. Also, I want you to let me know below, do you genuinely have trust issues? Let's be honest, let's be open with each other. This is a safe place. I want you to tell me in the comments, yes, I have issues. And maybe tell me why. Give me some insight on what you've experienced, but give me some feedback. I wanna hear from you guys. Do you feel like you have trust issues? Do you feel like you struggle with trusting people? And if you don't, let me know and let me know maybe why you don't, because maybe in explaining why you don't, you can help someone else see how they can overcome and be better in their life in regards to this specific issue. Let's get started with three ways to overcome trust issues. All right. So number one, you need to heal from your past first. Listen, if you follow me, if you watch my videos and you know, I'm all about healing and it's extremely important. And the reality is that having trust issues and is a manifestation of a lack of healing in your life. As I mentioned, I understand you've been through some things. I understand people have hurt you, but unfortunately you've internalized that hurt. You've held onto it and you haven't properly resolved it. So now that creates a high level of skepticism for anyone in your life or for people who seem similar to the people who have betrayed you in your past or who have hurt you in your past. So taking time to focus on the healing process and flushing all of that negative energy, hurt and pain out of your system is going to be extremely important in getting on a better path and no longer walking around with all this negative perceptions and negative mindset, and negative energy that you've been holding on to. Now, in order to heal, I have my special book for you, Finding Love After Heartbreak. You need to check this out. It lays out the specific steps to healing. It's what I've been giving my coaching clients for years. Lack of healing is so prevalent in our society. And people are always asking, well, how do I heal? How do I heal? But I don't expect all of you guys to come to me for coaching one-on-one. -on -one, and I really couldn't even handle it, to be honest with you. So my solution was to put it in a book for you guys to be able to digest it, really process what, what's being said, understand the steps you need to take, and you're going to start to see amazing results. Trust, if you do what's in the book, you're going to see a huge difference. You're going to set yourself free once and for all, and it's going to be an amazing experience for you. So click the link in the comment section, click the link in the description, get your copy of Love at the Heartbreak. It's extremely, extremely important. Do not neglect the need to heal. And even if you don't think you need healing, which chances are you do, you just don't realize it, I would still highly, uh, encourage you to check the book out because again, and, and the healing isn't just for relationships, it's for improving any aspect of your life. And the healing includes healing from things from past relationships, your mother, your father, your siblings, anyone who hurts you. But I'm gonna stop there, check out the book, focus on your healing, make it happen. So number two key to overcoming your trust issues and, uh, or, you know, your lack of trust in relationships is start to be open and transparent about your struggle. So here's the thing. When we don't trust people, all right, and we carry this high level of skepticism and we keep it close to our chest, again, one, it stresses us out. All right. We're always on the lookout. We're always kind of on edge with these situations and these relationships. And that almost projects or not even almost that does project negativity onto the situation and then creates more negativity. However, by letting it out, one, you start to release that burden that you're carrying around with you. Number two, you start to put the other person on notice. Like once they know you are acknowledging you have trust issues, they're going to think twice 
about breaking your trust. They're going to think twice about doing the exact things that you're afraid or concerned about them doing. No one likes to be called out. Now, it doesn't guarantee that they'll never do anything to hurt you. It doesn't guarantee they won't ever do anything to break your trust, but they will think twice. It does decrease the chances of it happening. So you're able to start to now overcome it because you're creating a better environment where everyone understands where we're at, how we're feeling and what we need to do to make this better. And again, by letting it uh, out, letting, getting it out, getting it off your chest, you're helping yourself be less on edge about the issue. So be open and honest about it. Now, again, yes, that isn't by itself going to solve the problem. You got to do the healing too. All right, so the healing is going to always be a part of this process, but by being more open and transparent, you will definitely, definitely give yourself a big boost in overcoming your trust issues. And then the last key to overcome or, you know, to get past this trust issue that you have is learning to trust God, not people. So here's the thing. I don't care who you are. We're all capable of being shady at some point. We're all capable of letting someone down. We are all capable of hurting someone, even when it's not intentional. All right. We are human. That is the human flaw we all possess. There's nothing wrong with that. However, when we start to now attempt to put full trust into human beings, we're asking for disappointment. We're asking to be let down because again, no one can live up to that. Not forever. At some point, they're going to make a mistake. So my thing is learn to put your trust in God instead. God is the one who won't let you down. God is the one you can rely on, but people were not made to be perfect. We just don't have that in us. So understanding to now shift your attention or your focus to God instead of people, you really empower yourself in situations. You also start to learn that your dealings with people, your willingness to be in a relationship is not contingent upon them gaining your trust. It's contingent upon finding out, does God even want you there? Because again, if God doesn't want you to deal with them, whether they're trustworthy or not, you don't belong there, period. And if God wants you there, even if they are the most shady person, there is a purpose for it. And sometimes we can't see it, but something amazing is going to come out of that situation. And we've got to trust God in that. So really lean on God when it comes to your trust issues. And that's going to really help set you free and make things a lot easier easier for you going forward because again people i don't even believe in a hundred percent trust in anybody i think that's just naive i think you, it, it's silly to think that anyone can live up to that standard because again mistakes are going to be made and it's not that people are out here trying to hurt you and trying to betray you sometimes people are so caught up in their own feelings and maybe their selfish desires in that moment that they do lose sight of how they're now uh hurting you, how they're now, you know, coming against you in the wrong way and creating this negative uh, impact in your life. So again, just, just trust God, not people. So the quick recap, we got heal from your past. We got be more open and transparent about your struggle and we got trust God, not people. So again, get your copy, love after heartbreak. You need to read it. Trust me. It's going to be one of the best things you've ever read. As long as you actually do the steps in the book. Click the link in the description, uh, click the link in the comment section. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And again, let me know about your trust issues. Let me know if you have them. All right, let's talk to each other. Let's have conversation. Let's help each other out. Because again, so many people feel like they're walking alone in these struggles. But when they start to see that other people are experiencing the same things, it starts to empower them. And we start to create a community where we all can grow and become better. So thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you're enjoying all of them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.